All right, finding inverse functions. So if they give us a function, all we're going to do is, and that's what this is saying, we're replacing in the equation the y with the x and the x with y, and we're solving or manipulating the equation for x. Um, yeah, again, that negative 1 right here with this f of x stuff, that's not a exponent. That's just to indicate that it's been inversed or inverted. <clears throat> now, on, on a graph, by the way, would be where the original graph has been reflected over the line y equals x. That doesn't have to make sense right now. So let's find out if this one is 1 to 1. If it is, we'll find a formula for the inverse. This line right here, this, I guess this equation follows this form y equals mx plus b. Any linear equation, as long as it is not, um, as long as it's not vertical or horizontal, is a function. This one's linear. It's not horizontal or vertical. So this one is a function. And it's, it, it'll be one-to-one -one as well. So this one is one-to-one. -one, so we just need to find the inverse, right? So this would have been a y right here. To find the inverse, I'm going to I'm going to exchange those just directly. Okay, so it's just x equals four thirds y now plus seven. See what we see what we did there. Now I'm going to solve for x. So on both sides of this equation, I would subtract seven. So now I have x minus seven equals four-thirds y and to solve this one uh, we could divide by four-thirds I'm just going to multiply by three-fourths on both sides just to kind of cut off on time so now we've got y equals three-fourths x minus seven <clears throat> 